Hai Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Bertemu kembali dengan Madam Mazza dalam topik 10 Which is kita akan going to learn about connecting devices, backbone network and virtual local area network Right, so dalam connecting devices there are total 5 type of connecting devices that we going to learn Yang pertama lah we going to learn about passive hub Kita akan belajar about repeater or active hub and then kita look at on bridge or sometimes we call as two layer switches then kita akan tengok router ataupun kita call as three layer switches yang terakhir kita akan look at on gateway right so pertama adalah passive hub passive hub is just a connected it will connect the wire coming from different station right so uh, a repeater Again, connect segments of line. It does not connect in two line, but then it be connecting uh, the same line, all right? The segment of lines, one segment to another segment, but still at the same line. A repeater forward every frame and has no filtering capability, all right? And repeater juga bertindak sebagai regenerator, but then not as an amplifier. Okay, now kita akan tengok. Kita akan tengok. Uh, the operation in repeater. Alright, this is a repeater which is connecting between uh, different segment dalam line yang sama. We have segment number one and we have segment number two. And the repeater is uh, just a connector untuk reconnect ataupun regenerate the signal. Alright, so kita akan tengok dalam figure seterusnya bagaimana fungsi as repeater. Alright, contoh we have coming in lah corrupted signal. And then, repeater will regenerate back the signal until we get the original signal. Alright. So, this is the same. This one adalah right to left. Another one adalah left to right. Okay. Now, kita tengok adalah active hub. Active hub bertindak sebagai multi-port repeater. It also can be used to create multiple level of hierarchy. Alright. So, this is we call as active hub. Alright. So, it will connecting. Uh, ataupun it will connecting uh, station kepada active hub tadi and then sometimes they work as a hierarchy hub yang mana it work to connecting between one network alright dalam dalam network yang sama ataupun local area network yang sama kena ada another uh, hub alright so that is we call hierarchy hub alright so next kita tengok lah bridge bridge operate in both physical and data link layer work at physical dan juga data link layer and bridge has a table use in filtering decision right a bridge does not change dia punya map or physical address in frame right this is a bridge right so uh, again setiap port mempunyai uh, dia punya own uh, map address or physical address this is example okay this is example right in this network, we have, right, so we have two station or two computer connected in LAN 1 and then will be connected to another local area network, right. So, bridge port ataupun bridge table mengandungi information seperti physical address or MAC address and assigned to the specific port. Alright, so again, bridge, one of the responsibility for bridge is like connecting different local area network. Alright, in this case, it connecting local area 1, LAN 1 and LAN 2. Alright, this is bridge. Next, we look at on learning bridge. Learning bridge is the bridge that really learn from the frame movement to make a table become dynamic. Alright, so it's something like bridge will learn uh, the port number and so on. Alright, from the frame movement. Alright, so kita tengok example. Alright, this is example of learning movement. Alright, so number one, alright, uh, which is empty table. Alright, so there is no movement, so empty table. Alright, so number B, A try to send the data or frame kepada D. Alright, so what happened? Alright, bridge will learn about uh, A, station or computer A, the port number is number one. Alright, C, then E try to send the data or frame kepada A. 
Alright, now Bridge will understand about E, computer E, having the part number 3. That is we call learning history. Alright, number D, alright, after then B try to send the data to C. Then the bridge will learn from this movement and put in the part, at the put in bridge table, computer B, the part number also number 1. Alright, so there is a learning process in bridging. Right. In certain scenario, redundant bridge need to make the system more reliable. One of the problem in redundant bridge it can create a loop. But in this syllabus, in this topic, we are not going to learn about uh, looping problem than juga spanning tree. So we will skip this topic. Alright. So next kita tengok adalah. Okay. Kita terus tengok. Uh, Okay, we call as a bridge lagi tadi. A bridge sometimes we call as two layer switch but tadi they work in two layer. One adalah data link layer and another one adalah physical layer. A two layer switch is a bridge with many parts that allow better performance. It perform at the physical and data link layer. Alright, so let's see if we take a router. <laughs> router with connecting LAN and one local network and wide uh, area, uh, area network alright, in the internet. It will connecting between LAN and one that is router. A router always use in the organization to connecting between LAN and one LAN for the organization uh, network and one for the uh, internet. All right, a router route packet based on logical address. It perform at the network layer. All right, a three level switch is a kind of router but faster and more sophisticated. Again. Alright, so sometimes we call as three layer switches or three layer router at three layer switches. The money it work at physical layer, data link layer, and network layer. That is router. Alright, so this is example we have router. This one we call as router. Alright, this router used to connect in between LAN and one. Alright, so that is function of the router. Or we call as three layer switches. Next, we look at on backbone network. Backbone network allows several local area network be connected. In a backbone network, no session is directly connected to backbone. This session are part of LAN and the backbone connecting the LAN. Alright, that is an example of uh, that is an example of backbone network. The money it allow to connect uh, the several local network. Alright, no session is directly connected to the backbone, but a session part of LAN will connect to the backbone, which is connected to that line. Alright, so that is backbone network. Kita tengok seterusnya, the few type of backbone, alright, network. Pertama ialah bus backbone. The topology of backbone is light network topology, bus topology. Alright, so this is example of bus backbone. Alright, so again, the line will connect them to bridge. Alright, Kemudian we'll connect them to bus backbone. Kemudian use a bridge again to connect them under the line. Alright, that is the, uh, uh, the, that is we call as the network structure for bus backbone. Alright, and kita ada second thing adalah star backbone. The topology of the backbone is a star which is used, alright, another we call as switches. Alright, backbone is just one switch. Alright, this is backbone. Backbone again is a switch or sometimes we call as a hub but this one because it's connecting different lines so we call as switches because this one is like three layer switches. Alright, so now, alright, this is star backbone. It's connecting different local area network. And setiap part uh, represent or connecting to different lines. Alright, so kita tengok seterusnya. A common application for a backbone network is to connect remote LAN. Alright, it is used when company has a several office with local networks and need to connect them. The connection can be done through the bridges. Again, this will be implemented in connecting remote LAN when a company have multiple branches which is need to connect in different LAN. The connection can be done through the bridges. Alright, we tengok this one. Alright, so this is an example of organization having multiple branches and then we need all right, remote uh, bridge or the remote LAN to uh, make sure that we can manage the network. Alright, this one we use what? We use a bus backbone 
the connecting between line. Alright, so we have this one point to point link adalah bus bone, uh, backbone bus. Alright, so next we look at on which will look at it. Visual local area is not new. It's been implemented in many organizations. We can roughly define visual local area network VLAN as a local network configured by software, not by physical area. It's a game. All right. It's a game. It's a method of uh, controlling or setting up network for different uh, branch or different uh, a branch of company organization but only configure the software not the physical area that one we call virtual local area network all right now we look at on this one uh, this example in virtual local area network we can make a different group we have group one group two and group three and then this group can be represent the department can be represent uh, uh, multiple local area, multiple uh, uh, multiple branches and so on Right, so this is again, this is how we implement virtual LAN. We have virtual LAN 1, virtual LAN 2, and virtual LAN 3. All right, so this is uh, configured by software. All right, so two switches in backbone using virtual LAN also can be used. We have backbone switches, all right, which connecting different switch, different, uh, work, 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 uh, different virtual local network. And this, let's say this one is used uh, in different. Uh, branch or different uh branch and this one organize at the organize in different uh, department all right all right which one local area create broadcast domain again this one i i i would like to explain more about this one all right this uh this we call as two switches in backbone using vlan software this example uitm we have uitm macam you switch a and we have your ITM KB, you switch is B. Alright. And then we configure virtual LAN 1, virtual LAN 2, virtual LAN 3. And then this we call as a group. Alright. A group of people. Alright. A group of people, let's say. In your ITM KB, we have HEA department or HEA, uh, high ehwa, plaja, or academic, or whatever. And this one also connected in the same virtual LAN. Kenapa? Alright. This example is for group. HEP, alright. Tak kira lah from UITM KB or UITM Machang, it will group, it will work in the same group as long as it's under HEA or under HEP. Because this a group of people can work together, can save time, can reduce the cost and a lot of advantages of having virtual line. Alright, this is how we implement it and we implement it using the software. Alright, it is sahaja uh, from topic 10. Uh, we already cover about connecting a uh, local area network. We already cover about passive hub, active hub, repeaters, bridge, all right, router, all right, and uh, we already cover also about backbone and also virtual local area network. Itu sahaja dari Madam dan kita akan jumpa lagi dalam video seterusnya. Okay, selamat pagi saya dan okay, bye. Assalamualaikum.